How you doing guys? I am back with another collection update video and this will probably be my last for 2016. Um, this is going to be a horror collection update. I got six titles that I want to talk about today. Two Blu-ray and four DVD. So I'm just going to get right into it. Also shooting this on my Christmas gift. It's a, it's a, an iPhone. So I figured I'd test this one out. It seems to have to work better in low light than actually my camera. So there's less time for me to do these videos, so I figured I'd use this today. All right, so first up, we have the Arrow release of Creep Show 2. Really, really happy to have this in my collection. At first, I was on the fence about this release because I didn't really like this one as much as the first movie. But when I actually saw it in the store, I just knew I had to have it. I'm not going to bother to unbox this one because everybody has already seen it. Um, this one comes with the uh, comic book adaptation of the fourth story that wasn't filmed. Something to do about, like, I think it was a, uh, a bowling type story. Um, but uh, looking forward to watching this one again anyways. Um, hopefully one day we can get a special edition release of the original Creep Show, Especially since that documentary is out now, like Just Desserts. Maybe that might spark Warner Brothers to actually uh, get off their butts and uh, do another re-release of the first Creep Show movie. Alright. Next up... We have Rob Zombies 31, and this is a Canadian release. The U.S. release, it was released through uh, Lionsgate, and this is through Mongrel Entertainment, which is my favorite of the Canadian um, video uh, distribution companies. And this is also the Collector's Edition. Um, there's two editions for this. There's one that's a regular release in the Emory case, and then this is the one that's a Digipack. Um, this one also comes with a slipcover, and I took it, I took the release out because it would be impossible to do it one-handed. Uh, so I'll show you the uh, digipack now, which has images of the movie on all sides here. I'll open it up here. There you go. Still haven't got a chance to watch this one yet. Actually, I haven't had a chance to watch any movies really since my time off. So I gotta set up some time and uh, watch it before I have to go back to work next week. All right, this one also comes with a poster, which is way cool. And I'll pull it over right now so you can take a look at that. I heard mixed things about this film, but I do collect Rob Zombie's movies for some reason. So I got them all, so I had to get this one. Got all the other ones, so I figured I'd pick this one up as well. All right, now let's go on to the DVDs. Okay, first up we have a TV series, and it is The Walking Dead. This is the complete sixth uh, season. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of the season, mainly because the first half dragged too much with that um, Mega Herd storyline. But uh, it started to pick up in the second half. And I did enjoy it for the most part. Now, there was some controversy with this DVD release because the whole last 15 minutes of the last of the season finale was um, on the Blu-ray release. It's unedited. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan is Negan drops a ton of f-bombs uh, whereas this release it's just the regular standard broadcast version where he doesn't swear now there is a scene uh, in the second half where uh where uh, andrew lincoln drops an f-bomb which they left it on the dvd but the rest of it for some reason i think i think anchor bay wanted to do a selling point where they wanted you to buy the blu-ray luckily for me i didn't really care that much about this season to really want to spend the money and i bought this one used anyways didn't pay very much money for it. I figured that's a, just a good way to continue my uh, Walking Dead collection. All right, let's move on with that. Next up, we have Holidays. And this is one I've been meaning to check out for a while. It's an anthology horror story. And I guess it takes place, each story is a different holiday. Like Valentine's Day, uh, let's see, Halloween, Father's Day, Mother's Day, New Year's Eve, Christmas, Easter, and St. Patrick's Day. Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, watch this too before um, I have to go back to work. We'll see how that works out. All right, and this next one I picked up because I was well, I discovered a new YouTuber uh, over this weekend. Her name that she goes by is the horror, the horror, and she did a review for this one, and it sounded kind of interesting. It sounded very similar to um, Don't Breathe, so I decided to take a look at this one. I found it for really cheap, and. Um, I guess these guys break into a house and it's um, owned by a serial killer or something like that. So hopefully this one's decent enough to watch. Didn't pay much money for it. So if I don't like it, it doesn't really matter. 
All right, and last up for this update, we have She Who Must Burn. And I think this is like an abortion horror type story or something like that, where this girl's having an abortion and someone doesn't like it and they go after her or something. I thought it was like a witch type story based on that title, but I don't think it is. Um, I heard good things about this. Uh, Geek Legion of Doom had reviewed this early in the year, and I always wanted to see this title. I picked this up at um, Family Video, as I did with the last three titles. It's really tricky with Family Video because what I find with them is they'll have something for sale, and then they'll pull it from the from their thing, the previous reviewed sale list. So whenever I see something there that's you know for sale, I, I gotta pick it up. Otherwise, the next time I go there, it may not be on sale anymore. And then I have to wait for them to put it back on. And if somebody else buys it while I'm waiting, then I'm SOL. Um, so, sorry, that's that's it, guys. That's my update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you all later.